The poem is about identity, the place where you come from and the place where you are now. The narrator reflects on his journey from the Caribbean to London and the contrast between the two throughout the poem. The Caribbean hills are personify this journey. They're symbolic. The way they're described as moving to London is symbolic of the huge feat that the narrator has undertaken. The huge feat of multiculturalism itself, the way that two contrasting cultures can com combine. The semantic seal of warmth is used to depict the fruit. Use of swollen, sun and golden depict a garden-like maternal instinct. Sound patterning and colour is used to talk about the culture and nostalgia. For example, poor, poor McCall evokes a nostalgic point of view in the narrator and the audience because of the sound of the bird. This creates a big contrast of culture and evokes nostalgia. The fruit represents emotion and the conflict between the Caribbean and English cultures, like mince and onions quarrel, um, is a contrast between Caribbean and English food, and they've been personified and romanticised to represent human emotion. Comparing breadfruit to a football is the merging of two cultures in harmony because breadfruit is Caribbean and a football is typically English. And also the colour green is associated with England, like green hills of England. And this could show the acceptance of the Caribbean culture moving to England. So the poet feels uh, bitter about the conflict, but also he's kind of accepted the transition. However, there's also conflict in uh, the juxtaposition of cultures. There's a sense of bitterness as the poem goes on. It starts very nostalgic and romantic with all of the sound patterning and the sibilance and the warmth and the whispering, which is kind of sensual and memories of childhood. And then... It talks about the landscape a lot, the providence and fertility of the landscape in the Caribbean, and juxtaposes with the harsher sounds of London, the B sounds, the less colourful aspects, the red buses rather than donkeys. It seems that the narrator feels that London is more superficial. For example, the posters of pop stars imply a kind of shallowness. The way that the Caribbean fruits, which symbolise so much about the narrator's culture and mean so much to him, are just sold in the market to children and parents and old folks, make the reader feel that the narrator thinks that London doesn't value the culture. The fruit is just a commodity. They don't see the significance.